Hello, comrades. Uh, John Joe here from the UCU committee. After a monumentally high yes vote of almost 90% in our indicative e-ballots over compulsory redundancies, we are very pleased and very fired up to announce that we're now officially moving into the phase of formal postal balloting. There will be no doubt be a lot of information being thrown at you over the next few weeks, both from the committee and from each other, so I'm going to attempt to summarise some of the context under which we are balloting, as well as some of the logistical points of information about the ballot process itself. Uh, since 2019 then, the university has seen around 300 jobs lost through voluntary redundancies, including those associated with organising for success. Uh, these job losses have led to an unprecedented rise in workload in a time already mired now by a globally unprecedented pandemic, uh, a time which has already incurred unprecedented workload rises in and of itself and has irrecoverably changed the terms and conditions of our working lives and the structures of our working environments. And in a time like this when we really all should be pulling together, management have told us that further staff cost savings of between £1 million and £1.6 million pounds will be required over the next two years. Now in our exchanges with management, they have repeatedly refused to rule out compulsory redundancies. And although they suggest that no compulsory redundancies are being planned at this time, we know full well that they are under active consideration. We know, for instance, that management are already looking into redundancy selection criteria. We don't know where these redundancies might come from. This is a concern that affects both academic and professional services alike. So we really need to band together now before it's too late in order to confront this attack and add job security head on. We also need to see these narratives from management for what they really are. This is not a question of economics. There are plenty of ways in which management could commit to cost savings without directly affecting the job security and workload of the staff that keeps this university operational. The fact that they're even considering compulsory redundancies in our current climate shows that they remain wholly committed to the larger ideological project that is remaking the university under a new rationale, the bootstrap tenants of profit, productivity and neoliberal enterprise. A rationale that, apart from all the other terrible stuff it's doing, like undermining the educational integrity of the institution as a whole, it's happy to allow its staff to uh, uh, to work under precarious conditions for little money with untenable workloads and then get rid of them as soon as they can't keep up with the pace whilst granting its top execs salaries of over £100,000 a year. So vote in our postal ballot and vote yes. Vote yes to strike action and yes to action short of a strike. Vote to give us the power to leverage this narrative away from compulsory redundancies. I think under the circumstances we're really asking for something pretty reasonable from management. Now it's a postal ballot, we sent them all out yesterday, so you should be getting one soon. Give the post a chance, but if you haven't received anything from say the 30th of March or the 1st of April, get in contact with the committee and ask for a replacement ballot. And make sure that you have the correct address recorded on your MyUCU account. If you still have your work address recorded there for instance, then it might be a good idea to amend it to your home address. So it would be great uh, if you could also get in contact with us as soon as you have posted your completed ballot papers so that we know that you have. We will be individually uh, contacting members one-on-one -on -one via Teams, text, email and phone over the next few weeks to ask whether you have posted your ballot back or whether you need a replacement ballot for whatever reason. Uh, it's important for us to keep track of this so we can get a sense of how close we are uh, to getting over the threshold of 50%. A uh, 90% yes vote in the year ballot proves that we've run the argument. Now it's all about that all-important threshold. Okay, so thanks folks. If you have any questions, please get in contact. Otherwise, happy balancing periods. Happy what's left of the term. Peace out, solidarity, and I'll uh, catch you on the flip side.